What's up guys, Caleb here and today I got a video on how to customize your city of tabs down here. Like I have mine with my name. Um the reason I'm doing this I know this is old, like you've been able to customize them for a long time, but the reason I'm making the video is because people's been asking me, like been messaged me on my in my inbox and um on the on the basement forum people's been asking me how I did it so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so I'm gonna switch over to my computer screen and I will show you how to do that alright so what you're gonna wanna do is in the description to the right I will have a link to a file that will have the let me show you right here it will have the um the city of tabs already um already there I just, just a couple of them that I made well actually all of them but I just made them quick you can rechange them and I'll show you how to do that and um how to change them I'm gonna be using Photoshop Adobe Photoshop and what you're gonna do is the one that you want like I'm gonna change the changes up I'm gonna just drag it into Photoshop and then let me zoom in on it to change it I'm just gonna delete the layer I'm gonna create a new layer actually then I'm gonna delete this layer get rid of the arrow and then I'm gonna put in just a random shape let's put in a dog we'll put in a oh somebody's calling alright so my bad uh, we're gonna put in a dog paw as the down and we're going to change that color to we'll just do a blue just like it was the color that it was we'll do a blue and then you're going to want to go to file save as go back to the folder and make sure it's dot png and save it as the up and then click ok and then you can make a new layer, delete that one, uh, exit out of that, go back to your folder and you'll see that the changes up is now a dog paw and I'll do the changes down, I will do that and I'll make it something else, let me zoom in on it real quick, make a new layer, delete this one and then we'll just add a random shape like a rabbit what we'll a rabbit and I'll make this one red just like it was alright so now it's red now we're gonna go to file save as format dot png and then we're gonna change save it as down save yes replace it alright now once you do that Oh, hang on. Alright, so I'm going to minimize this. Alright, so now you see right here I have changes as a dog paw and I have this one as a rabbit. So now what you're going to do want to do is open up WinSCP or your SSH client and you're going to want to log into your iPod or SSH into your iPod. And let me do that real quick. Alright, so once you get into it you're going to want to go back one, go down to stash, then themes, and whatever theme you're using. And right now, I am using my neon theme. You're going to want to go to folders, and then you'll see Cydia.app. Well, you won't have anything probably, but you're going to want to drop it into, like I said, go to, all right, I'm going to go back. Go to your theme, folders and then find it over here drop it in there copy it and it should be right there now I'll go back to my iPod alright so when you get back here go down here to Winterboard go into Winterboard and then check off your theme and then check it back let it respring Like switching to e-shirts. With our switch and save discount, just switch 
And once it respring's, slide to unlock. Go into Cydia. And once you open up Cydia, you should have different tabs. And yep, see changes right there. And when we click on changes, well, my bad. Let the data load. Once it loads, you can click on it. And you'll see it changes to a rabbit. I mean, click something else. Dog paw, rabbit. So yeah, that was that was it. How to do it? Real simple. I'll have the folder to change it in the description to the right. Um, also, join the forum, the basement forum. Real good community to join. Um, <clears throat> this theme right here let me let me talk about that this theme right here I have added about 200 icons that the maker the creator of this theme originally made and I just added them in there and also this SP settings theme I'm still working on a few things um, I'm still sick a little bit I'm waiting for a repo to get back up so I can submit this to it and get this video out to you guys but I will have that soon and I will catch you on my next video